Friends, I'm so glad that you start another daily walk with God and never tire of doing good. I mean, these times might be challenging to embrace people and share with them the good news of the Bible and of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But be diligent in your service in God's mission. And as a result of your ministry, men and women will give God his glory for the generosity that you show unto them through Christ and the Holy Spirit to believers will prove that you are obedient to the good news of Christ and they will pray for you with deep affection, deep affection because of the overflowing grace of our Lord and Savior. This is written to us as recorded in 2 Corinthians in the ninth chapter. You see, the message to the Corinthians is a message to us. It's a message of that to the church. It's a message for all people who are in service to remind them of the incredible grace that God has extended to all his children. For although Christ was rich beyond compare, he set aside his heavenly privileges and he was exalted. And yet he became poor so that through his poverty we might become rich. So despite our times and despite the pressure of life, God gives and God loves a cheerful giver, encouraging us all to meet with each other and to do exactly what God purposes us to do in our own heart, namely to help others. And not grudgingly or by compulsion or but flamboyantly as if doing it for show, our attitude should reflect that of our gracious Lord and Savior. Be a blessing. Go out and give them heaven, folks.